EPA, really. Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. Awesome. You guys. All right, let me check my color. Right, let's do it. Oh, you guys. Why did you go with Trump 70%? I thought you look like me. Why did you go with Trump 70%? We go inside, I'm pretty sure. Seventy thousand dollars with us. Does it does that make it hard for you to do your job? Taking money from the fossil fuel industry? Now that my friends is how you troll a corrupt politician. Well done, Sunrise Movement in PA. That was just that was incredible. The look on his face. He he kind of noticed that they were trolling before uh, they they made the switcheroo. He was kind of trying to look at the backs of their uh, their posters because they were bright yellow, so they were a little bit conspicuous. But the second that he realized that they were there to confront him, he said, well, I thought you didn't look like my supporters or something like that. Um, that's because you don't have any supporters, Connor Lamb. You're essentially a Republican running in a Democratic Party primary. Do you think you're going to make a lot of friends with this particular strategy? I, I mean, what were you thinking? Now, notice how that coward didn't even engage with them at all i mean you're running to be a public servant you're a member of the house and you're a politician so you're saying i'm running for office because i want to serve the people but yet you're running away from them the second they try to push back against your corruption and your fossil fuel donations why not just spend a minute talking to them explaining your position it's because he has no explanation he's just corrupt now the sunrise movement in pa tweeted the climate crisis is a life or death matter young people fundamentally understand that but connor lamb is okay with sacrificing our futures for fossil fuel money now taking a closer look at the signs they say republican in lamb clothing and the other variation of sign says this guy voted with trump 70 percent of the time now whenever i post videos about politicians being confronted in public like this uh there's always the pearl clutchers that will chime in and say well that's so rude and improper and it's not a good way to make your point i mean you're just pushing people away um and i hate this because when you have politicians with so much power who are refusing to act knowing that their inaction could cost millions potentially hundreds of millions of, uh, of lives i'm not worried about being impolite, right? This is a fight for survival. And if you think that that's hyperbole, take a look at this headline from Gizmodo, which puts things into perspective. It's now or never. We have three years to reverse course major climate report finds. Now, the author of this article, Molly Taft, goes on to explain, in order to avoid the worst impacts of climate change, the world needs to make a serious U-turn over the next three years to curb our emissions, a stark new report finds. It's possible to do so, concludes the report released Monday from the Intergovernmental panel on climate change, but only with serious, immediate, and sustained action across all facets of society. And we have very little wiggle room when it comes to our addiction to oil, gas, and coal. The amount of fossil fuel infrastructure that currently exists or is planned worldwide is enough to push us into levels of warming that are over the goals set out in the Paris Agreement the report finds. It's now or never. If we want to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, IPCC Working Group 3 co-chair Jim Skia said in a statement, Without immediate and deep emissions reductions across all sectors, it will be impossible. So to see these headlines, to see scientists warn us repeatedly about how we have a limited window of time to act and our time is running out. If you think that activists being impolite to politicians is a bigger issue than climate change itself then your priorities are ass backwards. I don't even know what to say. Now, um, whenever I talk about climate change, I understand that it leads to defeatism and a feeling of hopelessness. But I want to recommend to you a really good video by Kurzgesagt on YouTube. Uh, and they talk about how the fossil fuel industry is still thriving specifically because they're weaponizing our doomerism against us. They count on our doomerism. And because of that, they're still able to dominate. But the video is overall optimistic because it, it explains that even though the situation is bad, even though we're looking at a huge disruption to society because of climate change and mass migration. It's not as bad as it could be. 
So we are going to persist as a species. Climate change is going to get bad. Climate change is going to cost millions and millions of lives. But there's been enough changes. And uh, renewable technology is a cheap enough option to developing countries to where we're not looking at a temperature increase between 4 to 8 degrees Celsius, which would actually facilitate the end of life on this planet. So what we're looking at is bad. And essentially the situation is dire. But it's not hopeless. And that's the takeaway from that video that I would highly recommend. I'll link to it down below. And I think that that message is really important because when I talk about climate change, I don't know how to give people hope. The situation is truly horrifying. And politicians like Connor Lamb, they just refuse to act. And he's not the only one, but he's, you know, a microcosm of a broader issue. And the United States is, you know, one of many countries who are refusing to take meaningful action to mitigate climate change. Uh, but the situation is not hopeless. And even though we are going to see a really dark period throughout human history, the species itself will persist. Now, I don't know if that gives you hope, but it does give me a little bit of hope. But what we're fighting for, why action is so important, is because we're talking about millions, potentially hundreds of millions of lives. If we act now, we can save these lives. But because of people like uh, Connor Lamb, corrupt politicians, we're going to see a breakdown of society. We're going to see, you know, mass migration. We're going to see new political movements form as a result of the disruptions of climate change. Perhaps fascism grows as people have to leave their homes. I don't know what to expect, but I know it's going to be bad. And I know that not taking action is criminal. So if you're offended that these activists were impolite to Connor Lamb, spare me your outrage. Because what's more important is saving lives. What's more important it's taking care of the one planet that's habitable that we have access to. And I'll leave that there. Well done to these activists. Uh, they are absolutely uh, brave, and I commend them for their bravery and, and just calling out these politicians relentlessly.